Hello and welcome back to Productive Dragons channel. My name is April and today I'm doing a video that I said I would do. Uh, unfortunately I don't remember who asked for it but they asked about trackers and me explaining how I do my trackers. So I thought I would start from when I started the bullet journal which back in April 2016. This is my first bullet journal. And I'm going to show you and also discuss different things about trackers. Now, this is how I started. This was real simple. I believe I found this from Boho Berry. Because that was the first person I had seen the into the bullet journal. That wasn't like, say, uh, Ryder Carroll, who was the uh, creator of the bullet journal. This didn't start until April the 11th because I didn't get this until then. But that is my first tracker. My next tracker, let me see here. I kept it like that until give me, da, 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 until about this point. And then I expanded it because I wanted to do a lot of different things. Now, for tracking, I know I expanded it tremendously to the point I had all my different challenges, checking things, different things. Um, as you see, I slacked off, but I just did a little thing like that. Now, trackers can be a lot of things, and I'm just showing you examples of what I went through with mine because, you know, and I started in January 2017 with the same kind of thing the items up here and then the dates and then crossing it out but trackers are a variety of stuff and so you can do different things I started putting quotes on some of these so and then trying to be different because it's a little hard to keep up with stuff when you're bored if it starts boring you you just stop using it and then I started putting a little bit of trackers with my weeklies you know, water intake, items, you know, that I did or didn't do. So you can do that. You don't have to have that major tracker that I showed you the first time or any tracker separate. You could put it on your weeklies, uh, do what you want on those. Uh, you could track whatever you want to track. That's the thing about it. And if you don't want to do a tracker, don't do a tracker. Um, I switched it up a little bit. I put like some I could X but mostly the numbers here and then this here this was uh, 2017 in July I did a sleep log which I don't know if I was really good at because I wasn't really sure that's when I was going to sleep but then I started putting numbers here and here but I mean Sam putty tat purr has a cleaning uh, tracker that she uses and she's actually selling in her Etsy she's done an interesting one I've seen other people's um, but when you come down to tracking it's going to be really your choice um, this is a tracker I did for Eco Rimo last year where I put the dates and who you know the initials and where these people were from that I sent. Then I switched it up because I was getting bored as usual. Well, no, I'm sorry, not yet. This is when I decided to do an IG post and I started totaling. Don't ask me why, I just felt like it was necessary. So I did that because I have two um, Instagram, my D2 and my Productive Dragon. I try to keep up with that. Then I saw Amanda Moon do this. This kind of tractor. And I thought, oh, this is cool. This is something different. It'll make me start using it more. The only catch on doing this is that you have to make sure when you're doing a mandala, which is a little difficult because as you can see, if you can see here, some of them didn't get marked. But you have to make sure that all the areas are marked. So when you draw it in, that you said, okay, I did it, there it is. Uh, 
and I love this one. This one's my favorite. Which is my the last time I did it because I was getting to the point I was like I can't do this anymore. So, but this was the fun one. But I had to make sure that each thing got a mark. So in case I did it, there it was. But for trackers, it's really simple. This is a tracker that Amanda had. I think it was in 2017. She was getting. She was doing kind of a a giveaway of different one of her printables and this happened to be her printable so you might recognize the kind of looks like Sam's except Sam actually does hers a whole page and then has the things here so but these just fit on one page a piece let's see here and then I went to this because I was getting a little bored I had to that's the other thing about trackers. You can change them up. It's not required. It's not, oh, I have to do it this way. No, it isn't. You can do it this way. You know, you can do different things. You don't have to do the same thing over and over and over again. And then there's these trackers that are the year in pixels, which I like the high temperatures. I'm not doing moods. Sorry, folks. I do not do a mood tracker because my mood tracker would be pitiful, <laughs> to say the least. I call this Shark Week. Some people call it um, Hunt for Red October. For those of you who are not female, you normally don't have to watch, worry about this. But for us females, this is when I have it and the pain levels. And if it says 8, I took a meloxicam. Here's a reading list. I didn't finish. That's the tracker there. Here's the 100-day project of last year. And this is all that. And then my another year in pixels of my anxiety attacks and depression tracker. So, you know, you can do so many different things. The thing about it is, is that it's really up to you how you want to do your tracking. For instance, I went to this. This is all my... Uh, let me see here challenges and these were all the things that I was putting that I wanted to track and of course I stayed with the IG post except I quit putting the totals because it made no sense and then I did a YouTube posting because I've been posting a lot more on my YouTube channel and I wanted to track it and for those of you who want to try to figure out what this is this is that watercolor by Amanda that I played with a little bit then I did this kind of tracker again here's my challenges which I stopped because I was in a funk last month so this really didn't get very much stuff done <laughs> to say the least and I changed up my YouTube tracker this was better so this would be an interesting one for me so I could write it instead of trying to color code I just went ahead and did this it made more sense for me and now we're on marches which I changed up a little bit I put major habits here and my challenges and my intentions the reason why I did that is because yeah, there's going to be days I don't always post. I don't always get it right. These four are a must that has to be colored in because those are my meds. I would like for this to be colored in because I need to read my emails. My journaling, I'd like to do that. Do I get three meals a day? Not really. And did I drink water every day? No. But it's one of those two things that I want to get done. The 15-minute clean, the 15-minute crafts, that wasn't what I call a major deal. So that's why I switched these up a little bit. Instead of putting all of it on one thing, I just went ahead and separated. So, and I kept this part with my YouTube and my IG posts because I like to see that I'm posting when I'm posting and everything. But when it comes to trackers, this is my suggestion to you. If you do not want to track your water intake, don't track it. 
but if you want to track um, I'm active this days or I want to exercise these days then track them you don't always have to track everything but it's for you not for anybody else it's your tracker you need to know what you want to track I like tracking my YouTube to make sure I'm going okay I posted making sure I'm posting every Saturday I'm making sure that oh well I got my planner envy box about that time so roughly I should be doing this again and posting this and posting this and just seeing all the stuff that I posted it helps me to look and go okay I've counted so far one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve videos so far not counting this one because it's not up yet so I am the type that I want to see I want to see the post that I make how many how many of my times am I posting um, I like this setup right now, so I'll probably keep this up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make my own stickers or if I'm going to do the number thing that I did back in January. This here. Um, this was nice because I could easily just go, zoop, 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 but I don't feel like doing that because, as I found out, Cosmo Calligraphy, one, is not doing every day. So that one changed up. So, and I'm going to be doing my 100 day project next month. So that's going to be, you're going to see that one being put in here. Um, I did do a, <laughs> though I didn't really keep up with it. This was my Inco Rimo, And I didn't do very well with that. So, because <laughs> like I said, I was in a funk last month. And I thought if I had switched up from the intentions, just moving some of the habits that I had over to this, it'd make more sense. So that's what I'm planning on doing is um, doing that. If any of you would like to know, I mean, if you have questions, like I said, I know Sam's got some great trackers. Uh, her cleaning tracker is a really interesting one. So I'll leave that link for her video below for her cleaning tracker so you can get a good look at it um but always keep this in mind you track what you want to track some people say well after you've done it so many times you should stop tracking it which is true because i quit tracking making my bed because i now make it every time i wake up but i take my morning afternoon evening and meds i keep this on there even though i take them every day i make sure it's on here because it's a must for me. I can never forget to take my meds. Because it's what keeps me sane. So when you do your tracker, if you do a tracker, that's the other thing. If you don't feel like tracking anything, don't. You don't have to have a tracker. But if you do, make sure you're tracking stuff that you want to track. Not because... A, B, and C is doing it. I should be doing it. No, no, no. You track because you want to track. I track the no spend because it's interesting for me to keep myself from spending money that I shouldn't spend. I track my challenges. I want to keep those to be tracked. I haven't been doing my 15-minute crafting, which will be changing when the 100-day project comes because I will have at least 15 minutes to craft. <laughs> I need to do better on my goals and my bu budget. Maybe even the 15 minute cleaning would be best. But there will be some things that I will add to the tracker that I need. And then there's some things that won't be added. I don't track moods. I don't do a mood tracker because I hate tracking my mood. I'm not ready. There's also logs. I don't track grat gratitude. Some people do. That's to you. I know Amanda does words of the day. To remind her what that day was. What was the biggest thing. That's her doing. But I don't do it because I'm not there. I'm not ready for that. Um, but as far as everything else. I'll be tracking in my own stuff. I suggest you track what you want to track. If you want to track don't do it because I do it and every other bullet journal does it or it doesn't have to be done 
Just remember that. Remember that it's your your planner, your journal, your whatever. If that's what you want to track, go for it. Track it. But track what you want to track. I get on Sam because I tell her she's she's got a 60 minutes. I'm going, why don't you just do a 15 minute? Because I can't make anything in 15 minutes. Yeah, but if you just do 30 minutes of crafting, it'll count. <laughs> but that's the difference between myself and Sam. Sam wants the hour. Me? Does it mean that I'm only crafting for 15 minutes? No. It just means at the minimum I should be crafting for 15 minutes. So if I crafted for 30 minutes, this gets marked. I'm hoping this makes sense about trackers. If it didn't, please put a comment below and let me know. I I don't I, I didn't have what you call notes for this because it's something that I don't do. I don't do notes. I just tell you what I think. And also reiterate bleh, can't even talk. <laughs> I also state that you don't have to. Remember, there's some things that like I said, I don't track moods. I don't I haven't done the sleep tracker because I don't think I was tracking it correctly when I was tracking. And um I don't do the cleaning log. Sorry, can't do it. But I will leave both. I will leave Sam's uh, video on her cleaning tracker. So if you want to see that, be all, be my guest because it is really good. I'm just don't want to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm lucky. I get up in the morning and I'm awake. So that's the way I look at it. Right now, I'm not what you call heavy duty into the cleaning and everything. So. 15 minute clean was a great thing that I got from Amanda. So I will admit that there are some things that I've gotten from other uh, bullet journals. Amanda being one, Sam, I don't track her cleaning, but it's a great tracker. For those of you who want to do a cleaning tracker, I would suggest it. It's just not my cup of tea. So remember, when it comes to trackers, it's what you need to track, not what everybody else is tracking. If you don't want to track challenges, because I know Sam doesn't separate her challenges. She just goes, challenges. All right, mark off. I've done my challenges. I have right now six, and I'm actually doing, oh boy, eight, I think, or is it seven? So, I mean, there's a difference in everybody's way of tracking. Just know what's good for you. And once you get bored with something, with a tracker, change it. That's what I had to do to keep me on the tracking. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I post videos every Saturday, which is my plan with me. Uh, it's a weekly plan with me in my bullet journal, mostly. I don't ever change it out of the bullet journal. I don't know if I'll do that. Uh... If you subscribe and hit that notification button right there, you will get notified of every time I post a video. As I said, I've been posting videos, not just on Saturday, as you can tell. And so there's some subscriptions, and like today is a tractor video. Um, this coming week, I have two more videos that I'm supposed to be putting out before the plan with me, which is my goals bullet journal set up and my April setup for this. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day. Bye.